Cameron Jerome joins us. Cameron, given everything that's happened in the last week, given everything that happened in that game, is that your best result of the season? I'd say it's the most important one, yeah, definitely significantly in terms of where we are in the season and you know the importance of now, you know, 21 games to go and where we are in the league tables suggests it definitely is, yeah. It definitely is the most important result and you know, we, you know, we played some good stuff. I don't think that's our best performance in terms of how we played today, but I think in terms of how professional we were and the way we went about our business, you know, I thought we was well structured and you know, we matched them for endeavour and enthusiasm and you know, that little bit of quality at the end come out. It was against the odds as well, though, wasn't it? You, you had to battle a lot of different things to get that win. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the circumstances in the game, you know, which played, played, played their part, sort of thing, you know, obviously, the sending off, which, you know, um, I've not had a chance to look at it myself, but, you know, from what people are saying, it was, you know, a little bit harsh, but, you know, we just got to get on with it, you know, you've got to, um, you know, you just got to regroup and organise, and, you know, you've got to put in put in even more of a shift then, and, you know, we had to structure the team around. A few people went off injured, so, you know, you know, it was looking like it was uh, the look was deserting us, but you know, um, you know, we, we worked really hard today. You know, I thought we defended well, especially in the second half, and you know, we limited bomb bomb to uh, to crosses and uh, long range shots. It was a special goal, wasn't it? You'd, you'd have been sore if that hadn't won the game, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, definitely. If that won the game, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, um, obviously, you know, we were just trying to get get up there and, and try and win a corner, or you know, just test test the goalkeeper, but just you know, obviously, give our back lads a breather, sort of thing. So. Um, you know, I mean, it just dropped to me, and I just turned and hit. I seen the keeper was off his line, so you know, fortunate for us, it went in, and you know, it's nothing more than the boys deserve. You know, it's about time we had a bit of a rub, the rub the green, and um, you know, I think Bournemouth came to our place beginning of the season, and it was a smash and grab from then. You know, to take a point away from um, our place, and I think obviously we've come here today, we've worked hard, we've been determined and gritty, and you know, we've come away with our three points, which I think we deserved anyway. How much involvement has the, the new manager had in, in what happened today? Um, he's had a little bit of involvement, obviously. He said a little bit before the game. Uh, obviously came in yesterday but you know obviously we between the group of us you know we're professional anyway uh, <clears throat> obviously Mike and Holly have worked with us all season uh, well especially Gary's worked all season sorry obviously Mike's just come in and you know all week we've been working on how to beat Bournemouth you know we know we're capable of beating them you know if we match them you know they, they, they work really hard and they run off the ball a lot and you know they, they play as a team and they've got a great team spirit and you know they, they're on a good, good run at the minute and if you know, we knew if we matched them you know for, for all those things you know I think you know, we've got enough quality in our change rooms to certainly beat them and you know we have to come here you know obviously giving them a little bit of respect because of obviously where they are in the league position but not to fear them and you know we came here and we tried to play it and I think obviously up until the goal you know we was the better side we was controlling the game and you know uh, a little bit of a, <coughs> a mistake from our part to concede a goal but you know I thought we bounced back well we showed great character and, and obviously the manager came in at half time and he had a little bit of an, an input then and you know I could see he'd come down from the stands after the red card so he, he got more involved as the day went on but um, no, nah, it's obviously good to have, have the new manager in and you know, obviously we look forward to working with him. It must have been a strange week though, you know, Monday morning Neil Adams was still the manager, you've then had a week of Mike Feeling and Gary Holt training you and today Alex Neil's in charge so it, it must have been quite a strange one. Yeah, I mean obviously um, the club's obviously acted pretty quickly and got someone through the door quite quickly which is, you know, which is pleasing you know, but obviously Holty and, um, and Mike have done a magnificent job in getting us prepared for Bournemouth and obviously the manager's come in and had a, has a little bit of an impact today but um, you know, obviously he starts work Monday so um, you know, obviously he's introduced himself and he's, he's sort of stayed away from the from the lads and you know, let us prepare ourselves because you know, obviously a lot of preparation has gone in through the week with Mike and, and Gary so um, you know, hats off to those guys as well for picking up the pieces because you know, um, it's been a, a big team team effort you know it's, everyone's really pulled in together and just to finish with it's the first chance we've had to talk to a player since Neil Adams left so we don't look back too much but we ought to mention it he brought you to the club he's gone now we're sad to see him go yeah I mean obviously it's unfortunate to see anyone lose their job and you know Neil's a great guy I think he's a good coach um, you know I think it just needs a little bit of a breather from football and that's probably what he was thinking and um, you know obviously the lads are sad to see him go but move on it's football someone else has come in um, you know, hopefully um, the new manager can come in and, and put a stamp on things and, and something new and it can, it can uh, refresh us and revitalise us and hopefully, you know, we can start building on, on the performance today. You know, we, we've come here, we've come to the top of the league, we've got a, a result which we knew we were capable of doing, so it's up to us to kick on now and, you know, um, the players are responsible, who, whoever's picked, whoever goes over that white line is, just, is responsible to, to go out there and represent Norwich Football Club and, you know, uh, we did that today and I'm sure we made everyone proud.